We finished! Now we have to do all the paperwork. Probably take another... I'd say an hour. No. Do our notes, then we have to do our dictation notes, and then some notes about the notes that we took. And then somebody has to sign those notes, and then we will be grilled about those notes. Oh. Pulling up, pulling up, shut it down when I'm pulling up. Come around when I'm pulling up. In my town and I'm pulling up. Ready for anything, anyone. Know that I get it done. Good morning. Today we'll be in the operating room. Let's go get ready. What up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of J Bro. For any newcomers, my name is John Yu. I'm a Korean American, 29 years old, and a pediatric dental resident in New York City. One of the most common questions I get is, why do we take cute little pediatric patients to the operating room? What's it like being in the OR? As you will see, it was not easy to film during one of the busiest days for us, but I set out to vlog the whole day in hopes of sharing the experience. And guys, I got really lucky filming this. This was shot two weeks before coronavirus struck New York City. It was actually one of the last times we were able to perform elective treatments in the hospital. Little did I know it would be one of my last cases in the OR as a resident. So this video ended up being more sentimental than I had imagined. So grab a sugar-free drink, sit back, and enjoy the show. So we covered two hospitals in New York. Today we're at the other hospital. We have to take a cab to get there. I just called it. And we'll be picking up Anishka. How you doing, sir? Thank you for waiting. Hi. So, Nishka, we're gonna show people a day in the OR Yay. with the best partners. <laughs> Nishka just farted. I have to deal with not only paperwork in the OR, but Nishka's frequent farts. Thumbs up for some cinematography at 6.20 in the morning. Here is the men's locker room. Girls, this is an exclusive. Ooh la la. Okay. So which patients are treated in the OR under general anesthesia? Examples include very young patients who need extensive treatment, physically or mentally disabled patients, and patients with special medical conditions. In some cases, general anesthesia is the most practical and effective mode of treatment. But of course, a careful assessment is made prior to surgery to evaluate risks, benefits, and alternatives. Let's do this. Start from the bottom. This is the mobile x-ray unit. It's called the Nomad. Get it? Like, it doesn't have a home. It can go wherever. That's the Nomad. This thing is really cool. We don't, we don't have an x-ray unit inside the operating room. So this takes our x-rays. This is where the magic happens. Usually it's some filling material. We use some bonding agents. This is the operating room cart that we have to stock. If there's stuff missing, what happens, Anushka? Blame it on John. No, 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 you get spanked. The first years get spanked if, <laughs> if there's stuff missing from the cart. First yes, that was me last year, I, got, I get spanked. <laughs> We're going to be connecting what are called the hand pieces. They are the pieces of equipment that your hand will use. High speed, slow speed, there are different speeds or revolutions per minute that the drill will be spinning, depending on what you're doing. If you want to drill faster and remove more of the tooth material, you're going to be using which hand piece, Anushka? Hi. 
the high speed handpiece. And why would you use something slower? So if you don't want to take out a lot of teeth structure. Right, so when we're moving soft things like cavities or you want to be more careful about removing deeper layers, you could be using the slow speed. What is this used for? It's a little rain jacket so the kids don't chase the sugar bugs. Wow, you convinced me there. What is it? What else is it used for? It's just to make sure nothing goes down into the road. Yeah, so that's one of our isolation methods. I'm gonna stop talking and help Anishka set up because I'm a good partner. Pulling up, pulling up, shut it down when I'm pulling up. Come around when I'm pulling up in my town and I'm pulling up. Ready for anything, anyone. Know that I get it done in the bands. I be pulling up. Tell your friends, cause I'm pulling up. Ready or not, I be pulling up. Remember, they said I'm not good enough. Now it's around 7 a.m. What is this? Uh, this thing. Patient should be here. In the hospital, and they will be checked. Gotta make sure that they're not sick today. They haven't eaten or drunk anything uh, recently. Got my paperwork, and the patient has arrived. Let's go meet them. By we, I mean, I will meet them. Keep them. It's like this all day. Trying to stay one step ahead. Alright. We are finally ready to go. It's a beautiful morning. Um, for the first case, without disclosing confidential information. This kid needs a lot of work. We're expected to treat 15 out of the 19 teeth that she has. Get a little bit of time to grab a quick stack between our cases. We're doing two cases. These cases take long, two, three hours to complete the entire mouth. Um, everything went well. There were some adjustments that we need to make with the crowns. So it took a little bit longer than expected, but all good. Uh, don't have much time right now. So I'm going to clean up the room, set up for the next patient. Gonna Grab a quick bite. So let's go do that now. I know this is super unhealthy. You don't have to tell me that. But I'm starving. And to be honest, when we're in the operating room, I don't really want to recharge my chicken breast. I just want something good and quick. I have an awesome sedation slash general anesthesia partner, Anishka, whose brother went to Columbia Dental with me. <laughs> uh, he was my upperclassman. He is now in his oral surgery program, and she's a, and Anishka is a first year. And we're paired up for this block. I think it's important to have a really good partner, because it's a lot of work that you need to rely on the other partner to do. Yeah, and Anishka's been awesome very positive person. Very easy going. So you guys want to know a secret about Dr. John? Dr. John has chronic foot boogers. Haven't you ever wondered why he's never showed you his toes? Foot boogers. Very easy to work with. I feel like that's the case with any career. If you pair it up with your with teammates that you don't vibe with that well, the day goes even longer. But that's good. He's super chill. Perfect personality for Pete's, for pediatrics. 
I'm gonna go run back. I didn't finish yet, but I got through a good bit. Enough for me to do round two. Simpsons donuts, right? It's beautiful. Let's watch Anishka, Anishka struggling. Oh man. There's a bed in front of this. They have blocked our entrance. Okay. Away. Putting our stuff away. I'm so hungry. No, you did a good job today. You did, you did 10 crowns. He's only saying that on the video. And in actuality, he's a big jerk to me. So Anishka's a great partner. She's my best friend. Really? I am programmed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! We finished! Now we have to do all the paperwork. Probably take another... I'd say an hour. Do our notes, then we have to do our dictation notes, and then some notes about the notes that we took. And then somebody has to sign those notes, and then we will be grilled about those notes. Oh. It's 4.30. Almost done with the notes. Yeah. Oh no, not a bad day. Just hungry. All right, what wasn't shown in this video is how much coordination is required by multiple departments to get a patient approved and completed with surgery. It really is a team effort, and it starts two weeks prior with insurance authorization and medical clearance. I think this is a cool part about hospital dentistry. It can be fun if you enjoy working with a lot of people, but also can be harder to coordinate at times. Can't tell if it's 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. Let's go, good day? Yeah, good day. Good day, our 12th hour. Honestly, the dentistry was fun. It's the paperwork afterwards. Every single muscle in my body. Oh yeah, if you guys like Anishka and her amazing smile and personality, give this video a thumbs up and uh, Venmo me, five, five dollars. He's uh, saving up for his friendship dues. Friendship dues? I don't pay people to be my friend. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you after. <laughs> not, not while we're on camera. <laughs> John paid for my cab ride. I'm a sugar daddy. What are you gonna do? It's got six o'clock. I'm gonna get my nail made. Really? Yeah. What color? What color should I get, John? I think you should get pink with white dots on it. Extra girly. Anushka is not single. Sorry guys. <laughs> she is taken by a future oral surgeon. She's got high standards. You gotta be Literally, able to- he's very tall. He's, he's tall, he's handsome, he's Indian. Nope. He's not Indian. I thought he was Indian. He's Guyanese. Oh, Guyanese. Yeah. He looks Indian. Yeah, he looks Indian. But he's not, I'm a rebel. <sighs> You're a rebel. You've defied your parents. <laughs> gotta get him back somehow. <laughs> you got a tall doctor who looks like an Indian. Ooh, <laughs> you rebel. Somebody stop Anishka. She's really breaking all the rules here. All right, well, it's time to turn off my camera. Anishka, any last words? So just hit hit the like button, uh, just hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you next time. Is that good? That's how she talks to kids. Her voice gets higher. <laughs> Adios.